going to be a web tip for those of you who use Expression Engine um, and moreover Dreamweaver. Uh, I know sometimes it's kind of frowned upon for developers to use Dreamweaver, but I mean if you bought the CS3 suite, it came with it. Really it does everything you need to do. It's just like an advanced code editor. So moving on. Um, this tip is how to use Dreamweaver to uh, avoid having to use Expression Engine's built-in template editor because this editor here is pretty basic and I mean you're not going to be getting any formatting in here and it's just really quite poor you wouldn't want to use it so what you would do is you would log into Expression Engine and I have my window pulled up here so you can see Dreamweaver behind it just so you don't see some of these server settings um, for security purposes but you would go to your templates find your template and uh, you could actually go to preferences and you can do this for each template I'm gonna do it just for this one template or you could do it globally you would turn on save template as file you would check yes and then after you update that it'll say preferences updated and this text will probably not be readable. This is Expression Engine version 1.63. This method works in all the newer versions as well. Then when you're inside editing your template, down at the bottom you'll see a checkbox that says Save Template as File. Um, before you enabled that option, and now that that option is here, you would check Yes and hit Update. That will save the file to your server. Um, it'll be noted that this template will then be on the server in the template folder that you specify, but it it won't do this automatically for all your templates. You'd have to go through each template and check save as file to export it out to the server. And then also, you're not going to be able to just create files on the server and be able to see them what you're going to want to do every time is create your template in Expression Engine here and then once you have it made you can do save as file and then you'll be able to see it so once you have that saved to file you would come into Dreamweaver um, I don't know how yours would look but obviously you would go to your manage sites area which is under site manage sites or it's over here you would hit new FTP you'd type in your FTP host for where expre your Expression Engine install is you would type your login and your password and hit test and I'll just open one that I've already done here uh, and if it works successfully when you hit test it'll go ding and you'll get connected successfully you hit OK you connect and then when you do the background file activity will pull up and it'll pull in the directory for your server which I mean you can do this for non EE installs as well but what we're doing here then is over in your your files browser which is retrieving because I haven't connected to the server in a while I guess um, you'll see over here all your files and if you go to your templates folder your templates will be here and then upon opening your template you can edit it live in the editor in Dreamweaver with all of your code hints and then just use save when you're done and when you save it'll automatically update on the server and then you can avoid using the EE default template editor because I mean it's not really that great of an editor it's just a text box so there you go that's the quick tip for web I was using Adobe Dreamweaver CS3 and Expression Engine. I hope it was helpful, and stay tuned for more videos.